What's going on YouTube? This is Just My Opinion and today I will be reviewing Logic's Bobby Tarantino 2 mixtape. This was actually requested by a friend of mine named Adam and anybody who wants to request anything hit me up, uh, message me, uh, comment on my videos. I will be more than happy to uh, take requests. So Logic is a rapper from Maryland and as the meme goes is the most popular biracial rapper. I have to admit I never really delved into Logic's music uh, that much, heard stuff here and there, but after this project came out and the hype that he came off of within the past year or two, I decided to go back and revisit all of his projects. And I must say, I am a fan, but I am a conflicted fan now, and I'll explain why. So Logic blew up starting in around 2011 with the beginning of his Young Sinatra mixtape series, uh, in which I think progressively got worse and worse with each project, but still showcased a great display of technical ability, great flows, great lyricism, a lot of versatility, uh, definitely showed off he was a student of the game based off of his influences and he had a very unique story that he was telling but with these three mixtapes I didn't really know who Logic was as an artist or the direction in which he really wanted to go towards after the end of those three projects then he drops his debut album Under Pressure which I think is probably his best and most cohesive album that he's put out to date he definitely showcased mo everything that he was showcasing on the mixtapes, developing more of his own sound and style, and also uh, telling more of his unique story. Follow-up to that was the incredible true story, uh, came out in 2015, which I think was his first big attempt as far as a concept album, but I think he kind of reverted back to his mixtape days as far as some of the ideas being a little scatterbrained, a little bit inconsistent. But overall, I did really like the concept behind the album and production-wise and uh, definitely stepped up. Last year, he put out the album Everybody, which was very much the album that gave him the notoriety, specifically off of the Suicide Hotline song, really gave him a lot of notoriety in the mainstream. Uh, this is definitely his most popular release to date as far as mainstream wise but one of his more most criticized albums as a lot of people thought that concept wise it was all over the place he talked way too much about his biracial struggle and there was not as much rapping and a lot more ranting than a lot of fans would like and yeah i can agree on a lot of those statements but i think that it was still his most ambitious effort yet uh even if it wasn't his best now this mixtape is coming off of the everybody album and this is the sequel to the bobby tarantino mixtape he released after the incredible true story and before everybody came out in 2016 and it was just kind of a a, a turn up mixtape as he likes to call it just a fun mixtape he wanted to just get out there uh kind of to hold the fans over uh nothing crazy but still featured some of my all-time favorite logic songs like uh, 44 Bars, Wrist, and Flexecution, whoo! So I definitely wanted to hear what this project was about. So the beginning opens up with a skit titled Grandpa's Spaceship, which is actually a Rick and Morty skit, which I know a lot of people are gonna be disappointed when they hear this, but I'm not a fan, uh, so therefore I was not a fan of this skit. I know a lot of people love the show, I've seen it only a couple times, and every episode I've seen, I really did not like. Uh, there was one episode I saw where like some guy ripped his skin off. I just thought it was disgusting, and I was just like, this isn't funny. I think he was feeling himself a little bit too much with this skit when the one guy says, like, oh, how can you not like Logic? Not everyone likes Logic. But then the album starts off officially with the song Overnight. Uh, it was one of the first songs he released in promotion for this mixtape. Not gonna lie, this just did not get me hype. Uh, especially considering that the last mixtape, Bobby Tarantino, the, the opening track was Flexecution, and that track just gives me stank face every time I hear it. This just was very underwhelming. Production-wise, reminded me of like an early Big Sean, like either from like Finally Famous or Hall of Fame, 
Uh, if you've seen my review of I Decided by Big Sean, I'm not a huge fan of him, so therefore I was not a huge fan of this. It just sounds very basic, especially coming from Logic, who we all know is a very technically sound rapper. Now, I will admit this song has grown on me since I first heard it, but it's still not an amazing track. We then get Contra, which is a little bit more hype of a song, a nice melodic trap beat to it. I was a little underwhelmed by Logic. To me, it just sounded like he was doing his best to imitate the Migos with the flows, uh, the way he was auto-tuning. It kind of sounded like Quavo. And the Migos have been everywhere over the past year, and I just don't understand what the hype train is on for them. We then get Boom Trap Protocol, which has a nice, smooth, chill, boom bap style beat to it, which I really liked. And he was spitting for the first minute of the track or so. But then once the chorus kicked in, I was just like, what the hell is going on? The auto-tune on this was just... It was not that good. And I've heard Logic use auto-tune before, but never this bad. We then get the song Yuck, which I think is a perfect way to describe the song. It just did not sound that good at all, especially production-wise. I was not really feeling it. It was just a weird, wonky trap beat. I did like his flows, and I did like some of his lyricism on here, kind of getting at some of his haters. I didn't really like the hook. Uh, I think the most interesting thing about the track was actually the uh, voicemail from Elton John at the end of it. That was probably the most interesting thing about the entire track. Then from here we get Indica Badu, which is a smooth, chill as fuck, jazzy type track. Uh, nice cruising music to it. And this basically was a uh, just a weed smoking song. Uh, I thought Logic did a good job on the hook of the song and he was flowing on this one too. Loved it. And Wiz Khalifa on this was dope as fuck. I have not heard him sound this good in a long time. You know, he was actually rhyming most of his words. He was rapping fast as hell. Uh, but he was still right in his pocket, though, over this type of production, this type of sound. Uh, definitely a standout track of mine on the mixtape. Then we get Midnight, which is kind of like a double track almost. It kind of splits off uh, halfway through into this weird nutty trap beat um, but the first half of the track I really actually liked the production on it hook wise wasn't really feeling too much especially with the auto tune and everything but definitely more catchy second half of the track though I thought he was spitting his ass off but I just I don't know why I feel like I've heard this this verse before from him I feel like this was a recycled verse can't pinpoint where it was from but I feel like I've definitely heard this before. Then we get Warm It Up, and this is the logic that I like. Just him rapping his ass off on this really cold, chilly, boom bap beat. Um, reminds me of Young Sinatra logic, and he actually credits himself uh, as logic featuring Young Sinatra on this track. And yeah, he was just killing it on this one. I like too that how on the hook of the song it kind of switched up into more of a trap heavy type sound and he was kind of simplifying the hook down but then as soon as it would go back into the verses it would go back into the boom back but transitioned very well. Uh, definitely a standout on the album of mine. We then get Wizard of Oz which basically was just trying to be Travis Scott all over it uh, with the flows, with the beat with the hook. Uh, he was even biting his ad-libs. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't Travis Scott either, so I'd much rather listen to Travis Scott do Travis Scott as opposed to Logic doing Travis Scott. We then get State of Emergency, which of course featured my boy, 2 Chain. Yeah, this song was just all right. Again, a, a weird trap beat to it. Uh, Logic, I thought, did well on this, but I think he was over flexing a little too much talking about how uh, he just signed a 20 million dollar deal to Def Jam which he also has gone on record now of stating that it's actually 30 million dollars when there's reports out there that it's apparently not even close to 20 million uh, I don't know don't know the whole details it's something uh, about like I got the Grammy this year um, when he, he didn't get a Grammy this year he, he, he was nominated for two 
Uh, he lost them both. Yeah, you, you didn't win a Grammy. I, I don't know why you would say that. We then get What's Up, which is my favorite song on this uh, album. The biggest banger on the project. Logic was spitting his ass off. Great production. Actually sampled the same sample from Mercy uh, from Kanye West. Speaking of Mercy, it had Big Sean on it, who I thought was the best feature on the whole project. He was rapping his ass off. I was utterly impressed. Great track from the mixtape. We then get the song Every Day, which featured Marshmello on production. Uh, definitely a big credit production-wise for Logic. He's been blowing up Marshmello over the past year or so. Definitely features typical uh, Marshmello production, kind of the wonky sis since the blissful uh, melodic tones. Very poppy, radio-friendly track. Again, I just wasn't overly impressed with the track. I definitely think that this was kind of a disappointing collaboration between the two. And then the album closed out with 44 More, which is the sequel to 44 Bars, which is how I discovered him in the first place. Um, so I was really looking forward to this. Beat switched up three different times. The second beat switch up actually reminded me of Kendrick Lamar's DNA and what he was doing on that. Um, but I think overall the way the beat switch, uh, switch ups, they actually flowed together very well. It was just rapping like crazy all over this song. Overall, uh, it just wasn't, wasn't as good as the original to me. Sorry. So overall, in conclusion, uh, this was definitely just very average to me. This was definitely his least interesting and least inspired sounding project that I think I've ever heard from him. It was just very basic. And it's very disappointing. I'm very hard on this guy because I feel like he has the ability to do way more and way better than what he's doing. I think he has a classic album in him, but he just has not been able to get it out. He has not been able to really find his sound or his style, a distinct sound, a distinct style. I think that he really still is just trying to copy and emulate a lot of what the popular artists in the mainstream are doing right now but try to do it better which sometimes I think he does it well sometimes I think he doesn't and this if anything is definitely a step backwards towards that but I guess we'll see uh, with whatever project he comes out with next so overall I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of 10 remember this is just my opinion and thank you for watching YouTube